This is our street, it's where we live, we love to play together. Topsy! Just like you, you're just like us, hey, and Ken. we'll be friends forever. We can be anything. our street it's where we live so let's all play together be <laughs> best friends forever it's us topsy and tim <laughs> we can't wait to go to nursery today come on <laughs> itchy heads we go to Tillywinks Nursery School three mornings every week with our friend Kerry. Hi, Dominic, how are you doing? I'm all right, now. And today, we're all going to be given part in the nursery school play. Come on, let's go. I want to know who I am in the three little pigs. Oh, of course, the play. How exciting. I want to be a little pig. Oink, oink. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> Do you want to be a pig as well, Kerry? Yeah. Mummy, can oink, you help oink, me? Oink. Let me help you with your helmet. Oink, oink, there oink, we oink, go. Oink, oink, oink. Good oinking, oink, Tim. Oink. Now let me get your helmet on. Oink, 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 oink. Here we go, Tim, darling. Come here. Let me get your helmet on. Good boy. Oh, you're scratching your head a bit. Is it itchy? Yeah. Oink, oink. Did you um? Did you see the email from the nursery school last week? What? Um, yeah. Oh, knits, of course. Mm, well, it just might be. Knits? Mm. Tim, put your helmet down by the kettle for me. I need to get as much light as possible. Mummy tells us that our teacher, Miss Maple, sent an email saying some children at nursery have knits. Mummy checks Tim's hair. If you could not itch your head for me for just a minute. I know it's itchy, but just hold off. Oh, oh Dominique, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, he's definitely got nits, Tim. Mm. Oh. Nits make your hair itchy. I know that. Can we go to nursery now, please? Oh, no, I'm sorry, Topsy. Until I've got rid of Tim's nits, you can't go to nursery. Oh. Topsy, has your head been itching at all? Yes, a little bit. And how about yours, Kerry? No. Mine is very itchy. That's it, Kerry. Keep your head nice and still. How did Tim get knits, Mummy? Well, knits can spread from head to head when children play together. What are knits? They're little eggs that get in your hair and when they hatch they can make your head very itchy. <laughs> All clear, Kerry. No knits for you? Yes! All right, Topsy, sit down for me. Let's have a check of your hair. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid you've got knits like Tim, Topsy. <laughs> I don't want any nits. Oh, don't worry, Topsy. I had nits when I was your age. Give them out, please, Mummy. We all did, darling. Don't worry. Really? Yeah, and it's how I know I can get rid of them. Now, don't worry, Topsy. Mummy will make everything better. Come sit down. That's right, me. Topsy and Tim. I need to comb your hair. This is a special knit comb to get rid of nits. Right. Okay. Time to go, Kerry. Come on. Why aren't Topsy and Tim coming to nursery today? Well, they need to stay here so I can get rid of their knits so they don't pass them on to other children. Oh! It's all right, come on, let's see them out. But we call Miss Nursery today. What about the three little pigs? Oh, don't worry. I'll ask Miss Maple about your parts in the play. I promise. Oh, thanks, Dominique. Thank Dominique, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> not fair. So we don't go to nursery. We stay at home. And Mummy combs the knits out of my hair. It feels all slimy, Mummy. Why have you put hair conditioner in my hair? Because it makes it easier to comb the knits out. I 
I've got sticky up ears like the three little pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Topsy. <laughs> oh, she's still upstairs, Tim. Mummy, mm. when will Topsy come down? Well, I'll go up and get her once I've finished your hair. Hi, Topsy. What are you doing in there? We're all having carpet time, like we have at nursery school. Oh, Topsy. You really wanted to go to nursery school today, didn't you? Yes. Will we still get our parts in the play, even though we're not there? Miss Maypole will make sure you still get a part. You'll see. Now, come on. I want little moon bunny. OK, you get little moon bunny. There you go. Good girl. And then let's go and get rid of those nits so we can get you back to nursery school tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> I'm nearly there, Topsy. It's taking ages. Well, your hair is longer than Tim's. <laughs> Watch me! <laughs> Put on some special nip music <laughs> and dance for Topsy. <laughs> I do a nip dance. All clear, Topsy. Ooh, I've got no nip. <laughs> I've no nip hair too. <laughs> We're the dancing no nip. <laughs> right, Topsy, you're all done. I'll have to check you again in a couple of days, both of you, just to check there are definitely no more nips, okay? Okay, Mummy. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Good dancing. Right, Topsy, we need to get your hair washed and dried like Tim to get you ready for nursery oh. school, okay? Follow me. Mummy washes my hair. And dries and brushes it. And then. came round on their way home from nursery school. Guess what? I'm going to be a little piggy in the play. <laughs> oink, oink, oink! I hope I'm a little piggy too. Oink, oink! Oh, you might be, Topsy. <laughs> Miss Maypole gave Kerry these to give to you both. Inside, it tells you what part you've been given. What part have I got, Mummy? <laughs> Am I a little pig? Oh, no, you're a house. A house? A house? Yes, you're the house. house that the little pigs build. I know that, but it's just not a proper part. Miss Mabel says it's a really good part. You get to play all three houses, Tim. Yes! <laughs> oh, and Topsy, this says that you are the big bad wolf. Yes! Oh, I know how to make us drop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I missed you today, Topsy and Tim. Oh. And that's when Kerry said, <laughs> Will you still come to nursery school when you move house? Will you still come to nursery school when you move house? We will, won't we, Mummy? We want to do all of the nursery plays with Kerry. Oh, of course you can. I don't know what we'd do without our special friend Kerry. And that, said Mummy, was that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we had itchy heads, but can you remember what Mummy used to clean the nits out of our hair? Was it a hairbrush? Or was it a nit comb? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a knit comb. Watch this. <laughs> All clear, Kerry. No knits for you? Yes! Right, Topsy, sit down for me. Let's have a check of your hair. Let me see. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I'm afraid you've got nits like Tim, Topsy. I don't want any nits. Oh, don't worry, Topsy, I had nits when I was your age. Give them out, please, Mummy. We all did, darling, don't worry. Really? Yeah, and it's how I know I can get rid of them. Now, don't worry, Topsy. Mummy will make everything better. Right, Topsy and Tim, I need to comb your hair. This is a special knit comb to get rid of nits. Right, okay. time to go, Kerry. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! It's us! Topsy and Tim! <laughs> Come and meet Ray. Come on! <laughs> House buyers. Our friend Ray's here today. Lift. Lift it in. We're doing a play called The Three Little Pigs at Nursery School with him. Wow, my costume looks really good. I've got a house costume. Can I try it on? Yeah. Whoa. Right. Okay, you put the box like this, Tim. <laughs> Our costumes are different, and we're showing them to Dad while Mummy's at a meeting. <laughs> wow, you make a great house, Tim. <laughs> oh, Dad, I can't really get it on. Okay, just put the hands So, can you help me? Yep, yep, yep. yep. Thank you. Hey! I'll put your mask on for you. Oh, there's a mask, come on. In the Three Little Pigs, I'm playing the part of the three houses. They get blown down by the wolf. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Put it on there. Thank you. Oh, it's a good mask. Hello. <laughs> I think it suits me. <laughs> so, how does the costume work, Tim? I'm a house made of straw. See? Mm -hmm. So you just twist the house round. And now, I'm a house made of sticks. <laughs> Brilliant. And now I'm a house made of bricks. Hey. It's a great costume, Tim. Thank you. I like your tie. Now, Mummy told me you all need to practice what you have to say in the play. Is that right? Oh, yes. But the house doesn't say anything. Mm -hmm. The narrator does. That's me. I tell the story. Oh, and we act it out. OK. Come on, then. Let's see. OK. But we need the big bad wolf. Oh, Topsy! Topsy! Coming! I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down! <gasps> Boys, there's a wolf in the house. No, it's me, Dad. Oh, phew. <laughs> so, we're going to practice your play, Topsy. Yes. Ready, Mr Wolf? Yes. <laughs> so, Tim, at the beginning of the play, you are a straw house. Oh. Stand there, please. OK. And Topsy, the wolf's not in yet. Sit there, please. OK, Ray. Thank you. So, I say our story begins when... Is that the door, Daddy? It's a lady and a man. Oh, it's the people who are coming to look around our house today. Oh. Mummy told me, but I forgot. I'll get the door. Uh, Our house is for sale. Trish, I come in. It's a bit messy, sorry. Oh, don't worry. And these people might buy it. We're practising our nursery school play. <laughs> it's called The Three Little Pigs. Oh. Who are you? We're Sam and Trish. And who are you? Oh, I'm the three houses. I'm the wolf. Roar! And I'm the narrator. Gosh, are those your real names? No. <laughs> We're Topsy and Tim. We live here. And this is our friend Ray. <laughs> Sam and Trish are here to look around our house. Are you going to buy our house? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We need to look around it first. Come and see our kitchen. Oh, lead the way, <laughs> Big Bad Wolf. Tim, but shall yeah. we practice the straw house bit on our own? No, not yet. I need to show Sam and Trish the house with Topsy. Sorry. OK. I'll come back later to play with you. This is our art stuff. We've got paintbrushes and beads. <laughs> this is the 
fridge with all of our pictures on. <laughs> That's our table. Oh. And this is the back door. <laughs> Dad, hmm. can I show Trish and Sam the upstairs rooms now? Oh, of course you can. Thanks for helping Topsy and Tim. But I need to show them the garden first. Oh, I knew that. Come on. Trish and Sam look at our garden. And then Tim shows them upstairs. <laughs> I'll get it. Go on. Oh, the house is stuck on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> when are we going to practice the play, Topsy and Tim? Soon, Ray. Yes, we will be long, Ray. So this is your room, is it, Tim? Yes. And mine. I sleep on the top bunk, bed, and I sleep on the bottom bunk. <laughs> Aww. Is this your bunny, Topsy? Yes. It's Little Moon Bunny. What else could we show them, Tim? <gasps> Mummy and Dad's bedroom. Oh, careful. Oh, come with me. Hmm? We like your house, Topsy and Tim. Well done, twins. I'll make our visitors some tea and you can finish showing them around. OK, Dad. Can we have biscuits too, Dad? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. So we get biscuits. Chocolate biscuits. Yum. <laughs> And jammy biscuits. While Sam and Trish look at every room in our house. Again. Good balancing, Tim. You like the biscuits? Oh, not for me, thank <clears> you. <laughs> Thanks for showing us round, Topsy and Tim. You have a lovely family home. Did you know something? We've lived this since we were babies. Oh, that's nice to know, Tim. Cos I'm having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a baby in your tummy like Tony Walters, Mum? Well, two, actually. <gasps> two? <laughs> twins? Yeah, we're expecting twins. <laughs> twins? Like us? Yes. Twins are the best. <laughs> yes, they are! <laughs> so we should let Trish sit down, shouldn't we? No, thank you. So are you going to buy our house, then? I don't know. We've got to think about it first. Would you like to watch us practice our play while you think about it? We'd love to stay and watch a little bit of it. Great! <laughs> Please, may we, Daddy? I don't see why not. <laughs> I hope you do live here with your twins. Me too. <laughs> and that's when Sam said, This, this is, is just the sort of happy house we'd like to buy. This is just the sort of happy house we'd like to buy, Topsy and Tim. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Babies are moving around inside my tummy. I think they like this house too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Topsy and Tim. Let's show the grown-ups our play. Yes, Ray's been very patient. Yes. Ready to watch your play now, please, Ray? Tim, you stand here. And Topsy, the wolf's not in yet. OK, I'll ready, set everyone? Yes. Yes. yes! The three little pigs. Our story begins when the first little pig built a house of straw. And you're about to meet him now. <laughs> and that, said Ray, was that. <laughs> 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 Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> we were practicing our nursery school play today. Can you remember who dressed as a wolf? Was it Tim? Or 
was it Topsy? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Topsy. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. It's us, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> We're home from nursery school. Come on. <laughs> the play. Hello, Topsy the Wolf. Hi, Grandma. Where's Mummy? Is she all right? It's fine. She's in the kitchen. Mummy! Hello. Ah! Oh! <laughs> there you are, my little wolf girl. Mummy, I'm the big bad wolf. Yes, of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> May I have a look at your bandage, please? Yes. Are you all right? Of course I am. Where's Tim? He's outside. He's coming in in his house costume. Should we go and find him together? Yeah. Come on. Here you come. That's it. Final step. Come on, Tim. Oh, <laughs> God, you look great. <laughs> mummy, mummy, mummy! Well, how's your wrist? Please, may I hug you? Oh, of course you can. My wrist is fine. I want to hug with both of you, please. Mm. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry I missed your nursery school play, Topsy and Tim. It's OK. It's OK. Have you been to hospital? Yes. I went to see the doctor and he said my wrist is fine, it's just a sprain. <laughs> That'll teach me to go running and then I fall flat on my face. <laughs> Have a seat, George. <gasps> Thank you. Over here. There we go. Let Mummy sit down there. That's it. Now, tell us all about your performance of the Three Little Pigs. It was great. We bowed like this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wonder oh, who that could be. I don't know. I'll go and get it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello, come in. Hi, Hello, Ray. Hello, Ray. Hey, have a seat, Farron. How's your arm, Joy? Oh, it's absolutely fine, thank you, Farron. <laughs> Nothing serious. I'm just so sad I missed their play. Surprise! We're going to do our play, The Three Little Pigs, again, now. Just for you, Mummy, right here. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> OK, we're going to need a stage. Oh, Let's yeah. move the sofa. Right. George, yeah. oh, right. Everybody help. Be careful with Mummy. Thank you. Yeah. We get ready to do the play for Mummy, exactly like we did at nursery school, with Ray as our narrator. Until I remember something important. Oh, no! We can't do the, the play, Three Little Pigs, because we haven't got anyone to be the pigs. <gasps> we do? Yes. I'm going to be a pig. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be good at the pigs, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you need a nose. Ooh. And please snort loudly. <laughs> <laughs> My nose on. You ready? And this will be another pig. Hello. Hi, Karen. Hello. Hello. Here she is. There you go. Aww. See you later, Carrie. Hello. Bye, bye. Bye. Is here to play the second little pig. <laughs> I've got somebody very, very special. And she brings the third little pig with her. Ta da! So the first little pig and the second little pig went to find the third little pig who had built himself a house of bricks. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? It's us. Can we come in? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> All three little 
pigs were safely inside the house of bricks until one of them finally looked out the window. <gasps> Hello. Who's this coming up the garden path? It was <laughs> I'm a big bad wolf and I'm still hungry. <laughs> Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Look by the hair on our chinny chin chin. chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. But no matter how hard she blew, the big bad wolf could not blow down the house of bricks. So. Look out, wolf. You're not having us for your tea. Here comes a wolf chasing ball. Three little pigs no! through the wolf chasing ball, the big bad wolf. <laughs> and the big bad wolf ran away. <laughs> and the big bad wolf was never, ever, 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 ever <laughs> seen again. <laughs> Pigs lived happily ever after. The end. Oh, I can't clap. Oh, poor mummy can't clap. <laughs> mummy! <Wow. laughs> mummy! Wow. That was such a loud whistle. Well, you really deserved it. Yes, you. <laughs> Yes, top Z. Can you teach me as well? You know, at nursery school, mm -hmm. everyone had their pictures taken with their mummy and dad and their daddies after the play. Would you like a picture of you and Tim with mummy and me? Yes, please. OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Can you get a little bit more? Thank you. Ready, everybody? Three, two, one. Loved having our photographs taken. And then Mummy told us some big news. Now, I had an exciting phone call today while you were doing your nursery school play. Do you remember Sam and Trish who came to see our house last week? Yes. Well, they've decided they want to buy our house. That's when Dad said, we've sold our house. We've sold our house, Topsy and Tim. We've sold our house, everybody. Yes, darling. Does that mean we're definitely moving house? Yes, it does, Tim. Is that OK? Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, hooray for Tim! Well done. And that, said uh, Mummy, was that. Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we performed our play for Mummy. But can you remember what part Dad played? Was it the big bad wolf? Or was it a little pig? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a little pig. Watch this. Oh, no, we can't do the, the play, Three Little Pigs, because we haven't got anyone to be the pig. <gasps> we do? Yes, I'm going to be a pig. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be good at the pigs, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you need your nose. Ooh. Oh, look. And please snort loudly. <laughs> <laughs> My nose on. You ready? 
<laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. It's us, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> We're giving away our old toys. Come on. <laughs> old toys. Come on, Tim. We're moving house soon, so Mummy says we should give away some of our old toys. She wants us to put old toys that we don't play with anymore into a big box, then take them to the charity shop for other children to buy. Are you OK, Tim? No, Mummy. I don't want to give away our old toys. Oh, Tim. Come on. One step at a time. I'll help. Oh. <laughs> OK, Topsy and Tim, please try and find some old toys and fill up this box. I don't want to. It's not fair. We love all our toys, Mummy. Well, please try to find some old toys that you don't play with anymore. Um, oh, you could start by looking in here, Tim. There you go. And I will come back in a minute to see how full the box is. Oh, this box is full of all my old cards. Oh. And this one was always my favourite. <coughs> come on, Tim. You need to be putting some of your old toys in the box. I don't want to. I'm going to try. Bye-bye, old Teddy. Topsy! <laughs> Sorry, Tim. Keep on throwing the toys down and I'll catch them. Bye-bye, mm. Knitted Zebra. So I throw Cheeky Duck and Knitted Zebra and Digger down to Tim and all my other toys from the shelf too. Bye bye Monkey Hen. Bye Big Monkey. Finished. I've hidden everything, all our old toys, under the bed, so we can keep them. <laughs> can I see? Yes. <laughs> Hello, Chicky Duck. Have you finished in there, Twin? <gasps> <gasps> oh. We're going to have to tell Mummy that we want to keep all of our old toys, Tim. I know that. Apple juice and biscuits for the workers. Oh. Why aren't there any old toys in your charity box? You say. No, you say. We're, We're sorry, sorry Mummy. Mommy. We hid all of our toys under the bed. We want, because we want to keep them. Oh, Topsy and Tim. You don't have to give away your old toys if you don't want to. But it would be a very kind thing if you did. Why? Well, because you don't play with them anymore, do you? And other children might like to. We're moving house soon, and that's the perfect time to get rid of anything that we don't need anymore. I've decided that my toys can go in the box. about this Topsy? Yes, I don't play with them anymore and other children might like to. Oh, that's very kind of you Topsy. Good girl. Tim? I don't want to give away my old cars, Mummy. Even though Topsy's giving away her teddies? No, thank you. 
But someone else would love to play with your old cars, Tim. Really? <laughs> How about if you chose one to keep and you gave the rest away? <gasps> OK. I know exactly which car I want to keep. This one. <laughs> My fast flashing car. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Tim, coming through, beep beep. Beep, 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 beep. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> the charity shop are going to be so pleased with all of our old toys, aren't they? Oh, they really are, Topsy. Mrs. Odell. Hello. I'm Robbie from the estate agent. Come to put your soul sign up. Oh, great. Thank you, Robbie. Oh, Mummy, please may I help Robbie put the sign up? Yes, of course you can, Tim. Just stay safely on the front lawn for me. Okay. Sold. Yes, sold. Somebody's going to buy your house. Did you know that? Yes. They're called Trish and Sam. We've met them, and they're going to have twin babies. That looks like a good car. This is my favourite car. It goes really, really fast. Look. That is a great car. My little boy, Peter, had one just like that, but he lost it at the beach. Robbie? Yeah? Will you give this card to Peter? Really? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Today, we're giving some of our old toys away. And I want this one to be Peter's. Well, that's very kind. Tim, isn't it? Yes. Well, Tim, my little boy will take very good care of your car. And I'll make sure he doesn't lose it. Thank you. You're a very kind boy. You did it, Tim. Well done, Tim. I'll never give you away, little moon bunny. Mm. Never, ever. And I'll never give you away, Dr Sausage Dog and Eddie Teddy. I love you two. <laughs> and that's when Mummy said, Soon there will be new baby twins in this bedroom. Soon there will be new little baby twins in this bedroom, Topsy and Tim, and all their toys. Oh, yes. Sam and Trish are going to have new twin babies, aren't they? Mummy, I'm going to find one last old toy to leave in this room for the new babies. Oh, okay, Me too. Tim. All right, you two, but not right now. Back into bed and snuggle up. It's a great idea, Aww. and you can both do it in the morning. Right now, it's time for sleep. Night, night, twin tastic Topsy, twin tabulous Tim, and all your toys. And that, said Mummy, was that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we cleared out some of our old toys. Can you remember which toy I gave to Robbie? Was it Chicky Duck? Or was it my fast flashing car? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Tim's fast flashing car. Watch this. Robbie? Yeah? Will you give this card to Peter? Really? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Today, we're giving some of our old toys away. And I want this one to be Peter's. Well, that's very kind. Tim, isn't it? Yes. Well, Tim... My little boy will take very good care of your car and I'll make sure he doesn't lose it. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon!
It's us! Topsy and Tim! <laughs> Come and see our sticks. Come on! <laughs> Lost stick. We found these sticks on the way home from nursery school. Look at my funny stick, Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Sticker. <laughs> Hello, Sticky. My favourite is this funny knobbly stick. Sticky is the best stick, Tim. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> You're a very good stick finder, Topsy. I know. Look, she's even got a face, Tim. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a face. <laughs> she's funny. Yes, she is funny. What a wonderful stick collection, Topsy and Tim. Can you put them down here on this newspaper for me, please? OK, OK, Mummy. Thank you. Thank you. Dickie, you to be put down. <laughs> right, who's thirsty? Me! School. Did you? What's that one? It's my favourite one. Hello, Grandma. <laughs> His name's Sticky. Oh. He's got a face, head, arms and everything, really. Well, that's Hello. fantastic. Nice Hello. to meet you. Can I have a little look at him? Oh, isn't he lovely? I tell you what, Topsy, why don't you put him down with all his other sticks? I think he'll enjoy that because... I want my Hello, Grandma Hubble, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mossy likes our sticks. <laughs> I think Mossy and Grandma must be thirsty after their long walk. Into the kitchen, everyone. Oh, lovely, yes, please. Can I have apple juice, Mummy? Come on, Mossy. <laughs> Sticky! Mossy's got Sticky! Oh, Mossy. You know sticks aren't good for you. to look. We're good at finding things. Thank you, Tim. And tell Topsy not to worry. Sticky will turn up. OK. Please show us where you've hidden Sticky, Mossy. I'll let you cuddle a little moon bunny if you do. Come on, Mossy. Mossy. She's really tired. It was a long walk to our house. Topsy, have you tried looking underneath Mummy and Dad's bed for Sticky? No. I'll go and look there for you. I look under Mummy and Dad's bed. I look in the bathroom. But no Sticky. You put sticky. <laughs> Topsy, have you tried looking underneath Mossy and see if Mossy's lying on sticky? I hadn't thought of that. Well, if I just look under here. Have you twins found sticky yet? Not yet, Grandma. Hmm. Come on, Mossy. Please stand up. Get up. I know.
Well done, Tim. Oh, no, Sticky. Oh, I give up. I'll keep looking. Penny, look. Has Mossy shown you where she's put Sticky yet? Not yet, Grandma. Silly, sleepy dog. Come down and see what I found for you instead. And if she doesn't bring Sticky back soon, I'll check on her myself. Here she comes. Come on, honey bun. What about this long stick, Topsy? It doesn't have a face like Sticky. What about this one? No, thank you, but I just want Sticky. Aww. Come and sit here. Do you know what I do when I lose things? No, Grandma. I find something else to do. And then, just when I've stopped thinking about the thing I've lost, I find it. Does that work? Always. Just you wait and see. Come and have some juice. And that was when I saw something. It was in our letterbox. A letter! Tim, a letter! Is it for us? Is this for us? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Can you read whose name's on the front, Topsy? It says... Topsy, Topsy and Tim! Tim. <laughs> We'll bring it into the kitchen and let's open it. Come on. Mummy, we've got a letter. Let's open it together, Tim. <gasps> Is this an invitation? <laughs> to a party? Let's have a look. Topsy and Tim are invited to Vinda's Knights and Princesses party. How oh, exciting. It's on Friday. Oh. <laughs> We're going to Vinda's party. Mossy, what have you got there? <laughs> Sticky! Good girl, Mossy! Sticky, where were you? Thanks, Mossy. Oh, that's right, Topsy. Give her a lovely cuddle to say thank you. You were right, Grandma. When I forgot about Sticky, I got her back. You see? Well, I think it's time for me and this staff dog to get going. We've got a long walk home. <laughs> OK. Right, come on, Mossy. And that's when Mummy said, What, what are, are you going to wear to Vinda's fancy dress party? What are you going to wear to Vinda's fancy dress party, Topsy and Tim? I'm going to be a knight. Oh. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and I'm going to use Sticky as my sword. Lucky <laughs> you got her back then. And, and that, that said, Grandma, was that? Bye -bye. Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Topsy's favourite stick, Sticky, went missing. But can you remember who ran away with Sticky? Was it Grandma? Or was it Mossy the dog? The answer is Mossy the dog. <coughs> Did you remember? Watch this. Squeeze! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mossy likes our sticks. I think Mossy and Grandma must be thirsty after their long walk. Into the kitchen, everyone. Oh, lovely, yes, please. Can I have apple juice, Mummy? Come on, Mossy. <laughs> Good fun. See you soon. It's us, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> We're helping Mummy. Come on. <laughs> Sing song. Dad's 
asked us to post some leaflets for him today to people who might want to use one of his helpful driver's minibuses. We need to get them to the post box on time. You two are very good at stuffing envelopes. We are. I put the leaflet in the envelope, then I pass it to Tim, and then I seal it and stick a stamp on it. <laughs> I love doing envelopes for Dad. All done. And Dad will be very pleased if we can get all of these posted today. Yes, yes. he will. How will we get all of this post to the post box? Hmm. Oh, you know how? How? Oh, where is it? Ah. In our trolley! Oh, good idea, Tim. Doorbell, I'll get it. Well, I'll open the door. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Hello, Mr. Rosen. Oh, hello, Mr. Rosen. Hello, Mr. Everybody. Rosen. Please come in. Mr. Rosen tells us that he and his friends were just driving past our house in the helpful driver's minibus when the minibus stopped working. Doesn't work. Look. Oh. Where were you going in the minibus, Mr. Rosen? Well. Uh... Mr. Rosen tells us that he and his friends were going on an outing to the theatre today when their bus broke down just outside our house. Oh. I'm sure the driver will fix it for you, Mr. I Rosen. hope so. Please, Ooh. please sit down, make yourselves comfortable. Oh, um, thank who you. would like a cup of tea? Oh, yes. well, thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> oh, now, let me introduce all my friends to each other properly. <clears throat> Mr. Nicholas and Miss Kidd, these are my good friends, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Topsy and Tim, these are my great friends, Mr. Nicholas and Miss Kidd. Hello. Hello. Oh, very pleased to meet you, Topsy and Tim. We've heard such a lot about you two. Would you like to know a secret about Mr. Nicholas? Yes, please. please. He can do a very good owl impression. <laughs> and, uh, wow! Would you like to know a secret about my friend, Miss Kidd? Yes, please. Yes, please. She can play the ukulele. What's the <laughs> ukulele? This is a ukulele. Wow. This is a ukulele. It looks like a small guitar. You're right, Tim. Miss Kidd always brings her ukulele on our bus journeys. Can you play it for us, please, Miss Kidd? Yes, please. Of course I will. Um, let me see. Sister Topsy, Sister Topsy, Brother Tim, Brother Tim, The bus is broken outside, We're all here inside, We're Topsy and Tim. With Topsy and Tim. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow, you are good. Thank you, Tim. There's tea and biscuits in the kitchen now. Yay! <laughs> Come on, Mr. Rosen. Please, will you show me how to play, Miss Kid? Yes, I will. Are you home? Does anybody take sugar? Yes, please. <laughs> Three. Okay. <laughs> That's very unusual, Mr. Nicholas. While Tim plays the ukulele, I put sugar into Mr. Nicholas's tea. He drinks it with three sugars. One, two, three. Oh, thank you, Topsy. <laughs> Good gracious. What a lot of envelopes. Can we help? Yes, we can tidy up the envelopes. Oh, lovely. In time to Tim's music. Good idea. Tim. Thank you. <laughs> Try pressing here with a finger on your other hand and strum again. That sounds even better. 
Yes, that's because you're playing a chord. A chord? What's a chord? That's what musicians call it when you put your fingers on here to make nice music. Mummy, stop saying I'm playing a chord. Well done, Tim. And there are songs we can all sing if you keep strumming that chord. Get ready to sing, everybody in the kitchen. OK. OK. <laughs> There were ten in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. There were four in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. There were three in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they, they all rolled over, over and one fell out. There were two in the bed. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Kid. I think I've broken your ukulele. No, Tim, you haven't broken it. I just need to do this. Watch. <laughs> Miss Kid retunes the ukulele so it sounds great again. There we go. Now you can play it again for us all. OK. Get ready to sing, everyone. OK. Ready? ready? There were two in the bed and the little one said, Roll, roll over, roll, roll over. So they all rolled over, over and one fell out. out. It's the last envelope. There was one, one in, in the, the bed, bed and the little one said, Hooray! me how to play the ukulele. <laughs> it was so much fun helping you, Tim. Thank you. Oh, hello. The minibus is fixed, everyone. Hooray! Look at the state of my hands. Oh, you can wash them in the kitchen if you like, straight on for me. Thank you. We're going to the theatre. Yeah. Hooray! Yay! Tip top, off we pop. <laughs> what did you say, Miss Kid? Oh, Miss Kid always says, tip top, off we pop whenever she's leaving somewhere. You said you say it again, Miss Kid. Tip top, off we pop. Oh, or how about tip topsy, off we popsy? <laughs> <laughs> or Tim Topsy, off we posty. You've got all those envelopes to oh, post, remember? Yeah. I'll get the trolley. And that's when Mr. Rosen said. There's plenty of room for you and your trolley in the minibus. There's plenty of room for you and your trolley in the minibus, Topsy and Tim. We can give you a lift to the post box. Yay! Thank, thank you. you! Well, come on, everybody. What do we say? Tip top, off we pop. And that said everyone was that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we had a sing song, but can you remember what instrument Tim learned to play? Was it a ukulele or was it a recorder? The answer is behind the clouds. Look, the answer is a ukulele. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon!